Number 68. The pH of a solution of household ammonia, a 0.950 molar solution of NH3, is 11.612. Determine the Kb for NH3 from this data, or these datas. Okay. So, let's write down everything that they gave us, right? They gave us the pH of this concentrated solution is 11.612. Okay, so we got a pH value of 11.612, and just know that any time that they give us pH values, that's always at equilibrium. So pH values, pOH values, those are always at equilibrium, so that's good to just write down. They also gave us a concentration of the actual ammonia, right, which is NH3, so I'll write that down. Uh, 0 0.950 molarity of NH3, okay? And then from that, they want us to find a Kb value. Okay, so Kb, B stands for base. So we're going to not really assume, but we know that ammonia, NH3, is a going to be acting as a base here. And there's more evidence to back this up because the pH is greater than 7, right? Any pH that's greater than 7, that's basic. So it's acting as a base, and they're asking for the Kb, so it all makes sense. Kbs always come from a balanced equation, so that's the next thing we got to do. Now, with bases, we have to write these with the addition of water. So NH3, our weak base, is going to be aqueous and plus H2O. If you don't add the water, which is a liquid, right, because it's the solvent, if we don't add the water, um, you're not going to get the correct balanced equation. So with bases, we need to show that it's with the water. NH3, ammonia, is not one of our six strong bases, so it's going to be coming to equilibrium. And remember, bases gain a hydrogen. So instead of three, it's going to become four hydrogens. So you might have seen this polyatomic from time to time. NH4 is ammonium, that's a plus charge. And any time that you have a charged ion, that's always going to be aqueous, especially with acids and bases. And then, since this was giving the hydrogen to the base, you drop one of the hydrogens. And if you're a base that you start off with, Always you're going to be producing OH minus in solution, and OH is an ion, so that's also aqueous as well. Okay, so let's ice table it up. Beautiful. Ooh, what happened here? Okay, there we go. And we're going to do ICE. Nice. All right. Now, just remember that water, since it's a liquid... It is not used in our Kb formula. It's only used for the balanced equation. So as far as the math, I could get rid of this whole column. Goodbye. So we're only basically focusing on these three things over here. Now, I stands for initial. Did they tell us an initial concentration of the ammonia? Yes, they did. 0 0.950 molar solution. So that's going to go here. 0 0.950 molarity. Now, did they tell us if we started off with any ammonium or hydroxide? No. This pH value is not a concentration, so I can't say that. This is literally the only concentration that they gave us, and that's towards the ammonia. So we didn't start with any of these products. So zero and zero. C stands for change, the change in concentration from initial to equilibrium. And just know that if you started with nothing, you could only go up from there. So the product side has to be plus, and the reactant side is going to be minus. By how much? We don't know right now. So we like to just call it a variable, x, right? So minus x, plus x, and plus x. And then E stands for the equilibrium. I-U-M, rium which is just the combination of your initial and your change. So 0 0.950 minus x is 0 0.950 minus x. 0 plus x is just x. 0 plus x is just x. Okay. Now, if we want to solve for the Kb, that's the only variable that we can have, which means that these actual 
equilibrium values, we need to know them. So how am I going to actually turn these variables, these x values, into a number? Well, now we take the only thing that we knew from equilibrium, which is this pH value, right? And a pH, the H is for hydronium. But if you notice, I wrote it in red, but everything else is in blue because we're in baseland, right? We're dealing with a base. So I can't incorporate a pH into something that's just basic. I have to go from a pH to a pOH. That's the basic component. But now, how do I go from a pH of 11.612 to a pOH? Ah, that's this formula. We've got to memorize this formula. So pH plus pOH is 14. So if I just wanted to solve for pOH, all I would have to do is just minus pH on both sides. So it'd be 14 minus the pH. Oh boy, 14 minus the pH, and that will get me the pOH. So let's do that. pOH, so pOH equals 14 minus the pH, which was 11.612. So let's see now. pOH equals 14 minus 11.612. We get 2.388. Okay, so we're almost there, but if we go back to our ice table, this OH minus concentration didn't say pOH, it's just the OH minus concentration. So now I say to myself, okay, do I know an uh, equation that goes from a pOH to an OH? And that's this equation right here. So these probably on a test or a quiz, they might not give them to you, so you might have to memorize them. But if I want to solve for that OH minus concentration, all I got to do is 10 to the negative pOH, which we just found out here. So my OH minus concentration is 10 to the negative, the negative is in the formula, 2.388. Okay. So let's see, 10 raised to the negative 2.388. And once again, this is not um, the, you know, the correct answer, right? We're looking for the KB. So give it a, a few decimals. So 0 0.004093, and that's molarity. 4093, yep, that makes sense. Okay, and now we have our OH concentration. And if this was at equilibrium, the pH, the pOH is at equilibrium, and then the OH is at equilibrium. So this X value is really 0 0.004093. And if this was X, this is X, it's the same number. So I now know that number. I know this number, 4093. And now I know what X is for here. So this would be 0 0.950 minus 0 0.004093. So let's just bring this down a little bit just to have the room. And now let's see what that new equilibrium concentration is. So 0 0.950 minus 0 0.004093. Big number, but we don't like to round if it's not the final answer. So 0 0.45, 0.45907. Okay. Now we finally know all of the equilibrium concentrations. We could find out the KB. So remember, KB is the concentration of the products, and they're being multiplied by each other in the formula divided by the concentration of the reactant. So this would be NH4 plus times OH minus divided by NH3. So now if we just put in those numbers, KB equals something divided by something times something, right? Zero point NH4 plus, all equilibrium values, 0, 0, 004093, 0.00, 0, 0, 0, 4093, 
zero point nine four five nine zero seven. And with that, we will get a KB answer. Let's go. Point zero zero four zero nine three times point zero zero four zero nine nine three. Right? Point zero zero three. Yep. And then divided by point nine four five nine oh seven. I'm just triple checking my numbers. That looks good. And then three sig figs, if anybody cares, 1.77 times 10 to the negative fifth. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. That concludes this section. A lot of ice tables in this section. But if you guys can do this section, acid and bases, they got nothing on you. All right. So we're moving on into the new section. I think it's salts, which is a little bit more laid back, uh, more theory, less math. But then we're going into buffers, which is even easier. All right. So I'll be there every step of the way. I hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you later. Bye bye.